Hello, welcome. I'm Pauline from PQW. Thrilled you can be watching my YouTube channel. I just want to talk to you about this gorgeous flower pot pattern that we, we do sell. It's not one of our patterns. It's by um, the Kookaburra Cottage, but it is an adorable thing to make up. You can see the cushion here. It's just beautiful and it's a wonderful way of using up all of your stash of fabric because I know if you're like me, you've got plenty of fabrics in your stash. So this is just a really cute way of making up some little circles and drawing them up and make them into little yo-yo. So the pattern explains how to do everything, but I'm just going to take you through and show you how I make my circles. But you've got a little sketch here to go by. Magella does wonderful patterns. You know, she's got all the instructions here for you. So just follow that and you'll have a perfect little cushion made. You know, you may even just want to make some of these and put on a um, in a quilt that you're making, you know, as little features on your quilts. You can use little circle yo-yos anywhere for any project. But what we do to start with getting our circles created, we use the circle set. This is a set of templates that we have. We've got all different sizes from one inch right up to six and a half inches. So they all come apart. It's a nest of circles, very easy to use. So if I was going to use them, I open up my work board. I'm going to use the sandpaper part of the board. I put my fabric down with right sides up to me, put the circle on that I want to use and I trace around the outside edge. Now the sandpaper eliminates my fabric from stretching like it would, as much as it would if I was on just on a tabletop. And that's why I always use the sandpaper part of the board. So, oops, that's not just quite dark enough for you to see. Let me just press it a little bit firmer. Just hold the template draw all the way around. Now I will cut out on that line but for my seam allowance to where I want to turn it back to I'm going to actually draw on the inside as well because that's giving me a perfect quarter inch seam allowance to turn over. If I'm doing something and I want a bit bigger seam allowance I would put two of these together. Now I have a half inch seam allowance so I trace around the inner side of that then I'll have a good half inch. Now cutting it out, make sure you've got a good pair of really good sharp scissors. I love the jack scissors because they are sharp right to the point. And I love the handles on them because I can get my fingers through there and my fingers are not going to ache. So cut out on the circle or on that outside line, sorry. Once you've got that cut out, we then use a needle and cotton. Yes, it is hand stitching. But I think it's really therapeutical to sit down of a you know, Sunday afternoon or of an evening and watch a movie and just do a bit of hand stitching because you really don't have to concentrate much on it. But if you don't want to cut out with scissors, try using your little rotary cutter. I prefer to cut out with a little 18 millimeter rotary cutter because I can cut much quicker and much more accurate than what I can with scissors. So there are a couple of options for cutting out. So there we have our fabric. I've drawn on the right side. I've got this turnover line where I'm going to turn it over. Now I thread up my needle with a double thread and I'm using black thread. I wouldn't normally use black thread. I'd use a matching thread or use up a lot of my old threads like greys and creams and beiges because you really don't see the thread when you get it all gathered up. But I'm using black today so that you can actually see the stitching. So I'm turning back to the line. I've got a big knot in the fabric, in the thread, sorry, and I'm just turning back to the line. And I'm just going to run a line of gathering all the way around. Simple, simple, simple. Takes no time at all. Having these work boards sitting on your lap, it's so easy because you can trace on your lap, you can cut out on your lap, you can use this as your work board um, just to rest your work on. So I just love the work boards. They make it really, really easy. And they are available on our website. We have this small size or we have the large size. So we just continue going around. I'm not going to stitch all the way around, but you've got the idea. This one here I have completely stitched all the way around. 
So just keep your thread in your needle and all we do now is gather it up. It is so simple to do. I love making these. And I thought, well, I should share this pattern with you. Um, and they are available, the patterns are available on our website. So we just flatten this out now. Just get in there and flatten it out. Continue to pull it up so it's nice and tight. You just got to do a little bit of fiddling. And then you just over thread. You just go over and over in the one spot to anchor it down. Then when you're ready to put it, you know, get quite a few of them made up, make a lot of different sizes. As you can see here, we've gone really tiny, tiny ones. This would have been from an inch circle. Then we've got two inch circles. Get a whole heap made up. Get your background fabric. Then I then, when I, if I was making this, to put these in place before I started stitching them, I would put a tiny little bit of the Roxanne glue on the back of the little drawn up circle and I would glue that in place to wherever I wanted it to go. Just glue them all in place, cut out some of the leaf shapes. This is needle turn if you want to turn it under but you could do blanket stitch, you could do all sorts of stitching on here. Some beautiful embroidery on here. So there's lots of things that you could do to enhance this cushion. Once I've got these all glued on, I just then go through the middle with my needle and thread and just stitch through to the back and anchor it off on the back of this background fabric, get the whole thing done and then you can make it into a beautiful cushion. So it is a very, very simple process and like using lots of different colors for your circles, even if they are all plain, put in a little striking bit of colour in amongst those planes um, and it just makes for a beautiful thing and like we you know make wonderful gifts for somebody if you've got a, a grandchild or a child you could use some of their clothing and you could make up a little cushion for them adding some of the, the fabrics out of something that they they really treasure that they've grown out of it's just a nice way of using up all of your scraps so I hope you enjoyed the little um, presentation on how to make your yo-yos and how to make a gorgeous cushion. So have a look around at our website. It's www.pqw.com.au. And if you're not a subscriber of our YouTube channel, I encourage you to subscribe to it because we've got lots of wonderful, interesting videos already up there for you and lots more coming. So happy stitching till we meet again. Bye for now.